Dinosaurs are one of the most admired reptiles that once upon a time ruled the planet Earth. There are many, many dinosaur species that have been discovered, including the Triceratops, the Brachiosaurus, and the Velociraptor. Don't forget that dinosaurs roamed the planet for about 165 million years, so all the different species didn't really live within the same geological period. For example, the Stegosaurus lived during the late Jurassic period, or between 155 and 145 million years ago, while the beloved T-Rex lived during the late Cretaceous period, which was 68 to 66 million years ago. So, which were the very first dinosaurs that appeared way before the Stegosaurus? How early did they appear? And which animals did they evolve from? Let's find out today on Feed My Curiosity. Trying to find out which animals evolved into dinosaurs is still being actively researched by scientists. What we do know is that their ancestors were around during the late Permian period, the period prior to the Jurassic period, when the first dinosaurs appeared. So let's see what the Earth looked like during this time. The Permian period lasted 47 million years, spanning between the end of the Carboniferous period, which was 298.9 million years ago, to the beginning of the Jurassic period, which was 251.9 million years ago, and is the last period of the Paleozoic era. During this time, the planet's continents were combined together to form one super large giant piece of land called Pangaea, with the rest of the planet containing one enormous body of water. The Earth was abundant with marine life, especially in the shallow coastal waters where there were lots of coral and sponge species. Sharks and rays, which grew and evolved during the Devonian period, also known as the Age of Fishes, were happily swimming around. Land life was also abundant, including the Archosaur Morpha, which is a natural group of diaspid reptiles relating closest to archosaurs. Archosaurs were classified by having teeth in sockets, also known as the Tacondin condition, and a hole in the skull between the nostrils and the eye, known as the Antorbial Fenestra. They first appeared in the late Permian era and diversified, including the Archosormiforms, which are a group of reptiles derived from the Archosaur Morpha ancestors common in the late part of this era. Then what ended the Permian period came the Permian Jurassic extinction event, an event we probably know as the Great Dying. It's difficult to pinpoint exactly what led to this. In other words, it's not as obvious as a meteor instantly crashing into Earth, but recent studies, including those carried out by Washington and Stanford universities, suggested that the extinction was probably caused by global warming and the waters especially became too hot that oceans lost oxygen for marine life to breathe. As the global warming continued, the surface and the bottom water slowly mixed, raising the temperature of the once frigid depths of the seafloor. Methane-rich ices that had been frozen in the sediments began to melt. This global warming was likely caused by volcano eruptions in what is now Siberia, which emitted tons and tons of nickel, especially into the atmosphere, and heated the whole world. Marine life was impacted the hardest, with up to 95% of species eliminated. 70% of land life also disappeared. The Great Dying devastated life on Earth so much that it took around 10 million years for it to recover and re-diversify all over again. And with that, the Triassic period begins. Among them was the Eoraptor lumensis. The Eoraptor's first fossils were discovered in the Ishagulasto Formation in northwestern Argentina. The Eoraptor's characteristics are very different from what we usually characterize with dinosaurs, and they're probably more classified as archosaurs. For starters, they were very small and very lightweight. They were shorter than humans, probably as tall as a pet dog. They could be considered dinosaurs because they were bipedal, with each hand having three clawed fingers and two shorter fingers without claws, and their forelimbs were short and thin. Although they're believed to be mainly carnivores, they also had teeth that herbivores would usually bear, which means they also ate some plants alongside smaller animals they would prey upon. The Hurorasosaurus is another dinosaur that lived in the Triassic period, with Eoraptors, with its fossils, also being first discovered in northwestern Argentina. They were also pretty small, but not as small as Eoraptors. They walked on two hind legs with shorter forelimbs. Along with being speedy and agile hunters, one physical feature that makes it unique from usual dinosaurs is that it had a sliding jaw, which probably made it easier for them to devour through their prey. Perhaps the most well-known early dinosaur that lived during the Triassic period was the Platyosaurus. They were taller than humans, an adult Platyosaurus would usually measure up to around 10 feet tall. 
They were also pretty long, measuring up to 7 meters, compared to the Eoraptor, which was just a meter long, and the Herosaurus, which measured up to be 3 meters long. Although their fossils, which were found across Europe and Greenland, were reconstructed in a variety of ways over the years. These herbivores were eventually depicted to be bipedal, just like other dinosaurs. Along with having five fingers, they also had a large thumb claw, and based on fossils found in Germany, they likely lived in herds. Finally, there was the Pisanosaurus. There's not much known about these little lizard critters that only grew up to be about three feet tall, but these herbivores closely matched the archetype of dinosaurs that would dominate the planet throughout the rest of the Mesozoic era. As the world enters the Jurassic period, taller and heavier dinosaurs such as the Dilophosaurus and the Lestosaurus and the Volcandon begin to appear. Then, as the world transitions from the late Jurassic to the early Cretaceous period, the planet becomes home to the Compsogathus the high-flying Architeryx, and the almighty Dilophosaurus. Although the reign of dinosaurs ended with a large meteor strike in the Yucatan Peninsula, they still roam around the world today, in the form of birds. But that's another topic we can save for another day. Now it's your turn to enter the discussion. What other early dinosaurs do you know of that we haven't mentioned yet? What other interesting facts about early dinosaurs should we know? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Take care.